Hello guys, Luna here. Welcome to episode 30 of the Fallout Settlement Guide. If you don't know what the Settlement Guide is, it's basically me going around the Commonwealth in Fallout 4 and building different settlements. We started on Sanctuary and now we are here at Abernathy Farm and as you can see guys, a huge, huge amount of building has taken place. Um, I did have a couple of problems which I will go over, but I do have to apologize first of all for not uploading more videos of this build before now and that's just simply because I have been very ill over the past week and what I did was I started playing the main story because I never actually played the main story up until now but because I have different endings to the story and like you get the Institute or the Brotherhood of Steel versions I have different saves of the game all of this is in every save but I can't really build anything until I've finished all the different endings because I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do I think um, I will do Brotherhood of Steel, which is what I'm doing right now. But I have to uh, reload different saves to get different endings, just for all the achievements and stuff. But basically, I will only be uploading one video of settlements a week. And the other reason why I'm doing that is simply because the amount of people who watch the videos now has gone way, way down since Christmas. And uh, yeah, it's not really worth the spending 30 hours a week of building just for a few hundred people to watch it. But yeah, I will still continue with the series, and um, that gives me more time, especially in the upcoming months where I will be making uh, achievement guides and stuff for different games. So I need more time for that. But we're going to continue on building, and finally the other reason why I want to kind of slow down the series just now is just because there's not really that much to build. You know, like every settlement is going to start looking the same. I know I've only done two. But I kind of feel like it's already getting a bit boring just using the same stuff. If we were on PC and we had different mods and stuff, different buildings, then it would be a lot more exciting. So I would definitely continue making more episodes once we get an update at some point. Alright, so let's get started with the video. As you can see, I've done exactly what I said I was going to do, which was turn all this into just kind of a, a platform. Alright. And because we kept getting attacked by raiders and death claws, I made this wall going all the way up. I added on a roof just to make it look kind of cool, which it does. Left the space for this tower. And we're going to build like a little town on this top part here. But if you go underneath, you can see we've still got all our farmland. So every single person in the settlement is going to work under here in the farms. It's a bit dingy. We'll add some lights. Don't worry. And up this way, I think if we turn this into a marketplace kind of over here, uh, we can have some houses over this side. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with all this farmland around here. But I will think of something. Okay. So I've designed the wall. And let me get out my menu so we can escape. There's no door yet. And we will leave on the outside so we can see what it looks like. Alright. This is what it looks like from the outside. It's not too exciting. And um, yeah, I think I will just leave it like that. I would probably just add another sign on like I did with Sanctuary saying, you know, Abernathy Farm or something. But I don't want to spend too much time here because there's not that much exciting building going on. And so I'm just going to quickly finish this off and move on to a different settlement. But basically that's what I have planned. I have this little walkway up the top which I thought was kind of cool. And this place does remind me of like a an airplane hangar. So it'll look cool once it's finished. Now when I was trying to build it I had one very very strange thing happen. I had I was building the wall, okay? And when I got to around the third layer up the top, okay, I'd already used 7000 wood and steel to build to that part. Okay? And then one part here, I was trying to place down one of these little cube prefabricated uh, things I used to build and I accidentally picked up the whole settlement. Okay, and then I fell from there all the way down. I didn't die, but what happened was the game skipped and I was all the way back in Sanctuary, just standing in the middle of Sanctuary. And it didn't load or anything, it was just, it just literally jumped from one place to the other. And uh, so I thought, you know, it couldn't be the game reloaded, maybe I just died and that's where I started. But if I died, the game would have reloaded again. So I'm not too sure what happened. So I walked all the way back, the entire of my build had disappeared. Okay, there was nothing here except for the wooden floor was already here. And uh, obviously none of the saves that I'd made were there so I couldn't reload the game. However, the strange thing is, okay, 
that all the materials I'd used to build the settlement had already been taken off of my build. So I'd lost like 7,000 metal and wood, but none of the stuff was here. And it was still the same game because like I said, um, all of the uh, build materials had gone. So that was very, very, very annoying. So I had to completely rebuild. It took me around three hours more to build what we have. So I would have had a lot more done before now. But anyway, guys, this is what we have so far. And you guys will get to see what will happen here next. I think I was going to make four builds kind of videos for every single settlement, but I think we'll just reduce it down to two. Okay, we'll kind of have a build or maybe three. I will have one where I'm just going to explain what I'm going to do, depending on the size of the settlement. Um, one kind of halfway through and then one showcase at the end. All right, and once I do the uh, next set of missions for the Brotherhood of Steel and finish the game, um, I think I will go and do a couple of settlements that are at the airport because they're very, very small and uh, they're a bit different. So I'll be excited to do that. All right, guys, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you next week with another episode of The Fallout Guide. Bye.